here's just another part of our texting party. This is Paula Brockner, and um, we are going to have Shelly Perhaska, who is also the guru of this, realizing that Google Photos can do way so much more. So Shelly, do you want to use my template because it's pretty done to show the moving around and things? You can do that if you want when you go on. So do you want to share your screen, Shelly? Or sure. Okay. All right, one second. Thanks everybody. It's so nice to see all these faces on TGIF. <laughs> Who knows on a Friday night when we could do a yeah. do a, a training when it would normally not work. <laughs> no. We're usually off at shows or off at ball games or whatever. All right. So first thing, I'm Paul, you kind of want me to show how to get into everything, correct? Yeah, go just to Google again, and yep. then, because some people might just jump on now. So, can you guys see my screen? Yep. Okay. I'm on Google, and you're going to go to the nine dots. I say, when in doubt, in Google, find some dots. You're going to be able to figure it out. Yeah. So, we're going to go up here to the nine dots, and then you have all these different um, options, and you're going to find the little pinwheel, it kind of looks like of Google Photos, and you're just gonna click on that. And so here are some of my pictures. Somebody just learned how to ride their bike without training wheels today, so it was pretty exciting. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna click my albums. So what you can do to create a new album, is you can see right down here it says create, and you're just gonna hit this little plus. That's gonna take you to a new album. And you're gonna to wanna to name it right away. So I would say, welcome to Paula's texting pampered chef party or whatever you'd like. But I would name it right away. And then right away, you're also gonna add some photos and you can see down here that you can just start adding photos and you can either pick them from a folder on your desktop, which I would recommend um, or some of the ones that you have um, uploaded here. But a lot of these are with your pictures from your phone and stuff, so it can get a little bit overwhelming. That's why I like to do it on a folder. <laughs> one, one of the downfalls with, um, with um, uploading them is it uploads in a crazy order. I, don't, I have not figured out um, how it's uploading or why it's uploading in a certain way or anything. Um, so I, I like to remind you, this is a free service, so there's, it's not going to be perfect. I've done a few different, um, searches on how it, you know, if I could put them in name order or if I can number them, but nothing, nothing seems to work. I don't want to upload my, um, video. Oh, no, I would do that in a different spot. Okay. So it doesn't tell me if you're really uploading long. a video, how yes. like long can that be or how? like how short should it be like is there a well know? i did just it was kind of by i'm like i wonder if i could do a video i mean photos videos same thing i um in my party that i'm starting tonight did uh, my blender video and that's eight minutes and then um, i'm putting in there if you don't have time to watch this now come back it's eight minutes or they can you know figure it out for themselves um paula had a a 16 second video that was from the home office if I can find that here and that's kind of nice it just breaks it up a little bit too mm. and then you can do your own video do your own video that's welcoming them kind of talking them through what's what's um, the party is about you know time frame that kind of just like you would when you're opening for a live show or when you're doing a virtual show right Okay, so now you have all your little posts in here. You're gonna want to organize them. So again, go to your three dots in the upper corner here and say edit album. And actually, Paula, I found a cute little shortcut too. Instead of doing that, you can actually just click on here and it'll let you do it. Yeah. That was an accidental thing, here we go. So that was kind of fun, you don't even have to go into that. So my welcome is somewhere. So I'll show you now one that I have kind of in order. And I'll go through and put my 
you know, the what about me and how I started Pampered Chef. I'll probably put that towards the beginning. I'll try to break up some of these posts and then put the ones together. Like I have kids in the kitchen. I want to keep those together. Oh, here they are right here. They did you stay can together see she's just time. sliding. All she's doing is holding her yeah. mouse down and sliding the photo where she wants it. And with Google, the minute everything saves mm -mm. instantly. So you don't have to click file, save, worrying about, this. so everything saves instantly. So I love that you could just slide these all around here. Okay. And then I would want to put the recipes where they should go or, you know, next to the product that I'm using with them. And I know Rachel, you're kind of asking about verbiage and that kind of thing. So I just double clicked on the photo. You, different than like if you're using since share or something like that where you can put the verbiage in with a picture this you're going to have to put the verbiage with the picture on one post so canva is a really easy um, application to use it's also free um, so i've done 90 percent of what i have here if i didn't copy it from somebody else on canva what post are you choosing to do something like this in canva you know, where it says like Facebook cover, social me social, I forget what it says, but you uh, know. I just kind of, whatever I've started with, I just kind of um, make a copy of it and just redo it with different colors and stuff. So I know, but you don't know what the, I can't even remember. Is you're posting. Yeah, so you know what? It's seven. Um, it says Facebook post. I'm looking at my notes here. It says 750 by something. It's one of the first ones in your option. And all of those really so work in here. All of those really work in here, though. So it's not like yeah. on your Facebook where it's got to fit in your banner or whatever. It's not like mm -hmm. that. Right. As you can see, I'm just pushing my arrow on my laptop here to scroll through these. So like Kim had said, it doesn't take long. Maybe you already have this product. Well, I don't need to know any more about it. Or, nah, baking's not my thing. Just keep going. Oh, this is nice. And also people can screenshot this, which is really nice to have the recipes that I might put in there or whatnot. Um, I did this kind of as generic as possible so people can use them also. I didn't put my name all over them. So you guys can use them. All right, now I'm gonna show how um, my album that I'm, I'm using for the party that's starting tonight. It's kind of like Vanna White, you're showing the finished product now. <laughs> <laughs> or like on TV, you know, they have the, the thing cooking in the oven, you could just bring it out. That's what this is. <laughs> okay, so I started with a little welcome and thanks for popping in. Um, you know, I did my um, story. And then also in Canva, you can create these cute little, little um, posts that, that have animation also. So that's kind of fun. Just breaks it up a little bit and it keeps it on the loop. Okay, so now you have all this. I'm not going to show you all the posts, but you can see. Um, so I want to show you now, Paula, like how you edit. I showed how to edit the album. How to duplicate an album? Is that something we well, want? Well, why don't you go to the box with the little plus in it? Because all of a sudden you think, oh my gosh, I want to put a oh, picture right. of, uh, you know, I want to put a picture of something. New special this month. Yeah, the special. So go to the square. Yeah, there. So here's a little square with a plus on it. And this is going to um, either take you to your photos like before, or again, I'm going to select from the computer. And I'll put a new, find a new post to put in. I'm going to put something with this one. Um, and it uploads right there. Says look at the new catalog. So normally they go right to the end. And it will upload. Okay, so here, this one I haven't done yet. But um, it's a real page turner. I'm going to see something like check out our new spring summer catalog. And so now I have that in there. That's cute. What was that? She said that's cute. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> how, how'd you do sorry, that? I'm fish. So, Shelly, <laughs> just for the sake of time, why don't you yeah. show the three? Um, show where 
Now you've got your template all set up and now mm -hmm. you want to put it in your paragraph so you get ready to text your hostess. Where are you going to get the link for this? Okay, so when you want to share this, this little sideways V with the dots, or I call it a Pac-Man mouse, because that dates me a little bit, I guess. But <laughs> So you can click on that. And one second. And then you go to the bottom here. It says create link. And then you're just going to copy this link. And that's, and that what will I, be what, that's what I put in Facebook today or private message some of you to look. So that's where I got it from. So now you have your link and you can um, put it in your uh, text to your hostess. Or there's no reason that people can't email. People still email. Um, I get hundreds every day. So if they don't want to text it, they can email it to people. Also, this link with the exact same verbiage and stuff. Um, where's your dad? No. Um, I feel like Jimmy Fallon. My kids are in my face when I'm trying to do this. <laughs> there's a question. Hide your dad. <laughs> yes. There's a question in the chat. Oh, what is it? <laughs> if I were you, I would just do it as a Facebook post so you can use it there too. Then it says one question, will they have to have a Google account to view this party? No, that's the nice thing. You know, with Squee and um, you know, other applications people have used, you have to register, you have to create an account. That gets cumbersome. I know I have accounts all over the place. So with this, Literally, you're clicking the link. I do believe you have to click join. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. And then I think the folder is there for you to view too at a later date if you want to in your albums. Yeah. Um, Nancy jo, excuse me, honey. Nancy Joe, no, when I sent you the link this afternoon and you opened it up on your phone, that was the first time you had gone to Google Photos. Yeah. And, and it asked you something. What did it, do you remember what it asked you? Um, hmm. Shelly, can you unshare? I'm going to show something. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember what it asked, but I did have to uh, accept uh, yeah. or say or yes. Say to join or something, I think yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but um, yeah, so it, you know, that was all pretty easy to do. And the thing is, I can share my template with any of you. And let me just share here again. I'll quickly go. Let me go into there once. Make sure it's uh, Paula. Yes. I think it has to be. You have to be like really clear with people that this is a template that you're willing to share for texting parties, and that these photos. If people start taking these photos and throwing them into virtual parties. Well, there's going to be a problem that, for somebody you know somewhere down the road if they you guys will all have those. to work with your team members on that that's like anything anybody knows anything they put in facebook's got to be um their own thing. original it has to be yeah. yeah you know when i go over here to the arrow on the left when i go over here this brought up i want to show you um my wendy's texting party then i wanted to make an album called food facts then I wanted to make an album here. My new, I can create an album of anything. And um, let me go back, food facts. Then, so I threw the food facts in here. So you can do an album of your pets, of recipes. Love that. You can do anything. And now the thing is, I shared these with Becky and Shelly. So Becky and Shelly downloaded, I mean, it came right into them because we shared it and then they have all of my posts they can use my posts slide it into their posts let me show you something cool here okay here's my party um hang on and i'll just show you on my desktop which it's a mess over here on the left but i'll just show you here's the video i already have it in there but look at i'm going to grab this video and i'm going to go like this on my desktop and there it's putting the video in there it's done and now there's now the video's in here there it is I mean, it, it'll, it's down in the bottom, I already had it in here, but that's how fast it, it oh, sorry, that's how fast um, it can go just to throw a video in here. Okay, now here's so a butter. faster than Facebook. Too. Yeah, here's a, here on my desktop <laughs> is um, a butter food tip. I can bring the butter food tip, put it in, there it goes. It's downloading now. Um, 
you know, butter food tips taking longer. Okay, there. And so now the butter food tip is here somewhere. Can't where oh here. And so now maybe I don't want it there. Maybe I want it um, somewhere else. Yeah, I'm just, just gonna get slide it. it. I'm just gonna slide it where I want it to go. You know. Hey, what was that butter food tip? I right. know that's a pretty cool tip. Right. You know, I haven't done that cold, before. Get the cold butter and put a glass over it. It softens up really fast. You have to put hot water in the glass first and then. So it's okay. warm. Yeah. And then it kind of steams in there. Hey, I have another know. food hack for, for if you forget to pull your butter out to soften it for a recipe, grate it and it softens super fast. Yeah. Yep. It's another now Up one. here on the right. It's the veggie stripper, right? Yep. 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 Or, or the grater or the coarse grater. Grater's more expensive. Use that. <laughs> Now, if I want to move anything around here, I've got to go up to the three dots. I got to edit the album and now I can move things around again. If I want to put the welcome here, slide that over, slide this over here. I go on my desktop and I can grab something else from my messy desktop and I can throw that into here. So those three dots will do that. Now, when, the, when I feel like I'm done editing, the top left check mark is where that's going to be. Now, you see these people up here these are different people that maybe things have been shared with or they've clicked on um, now oh what shelly didn't say and you can instruct me shelly here what's really important is if you share your template now i shared my template with on facebook and to a lot of you but i don't want you guys being able to mess up my template so i had to turn off shelly where was that um you go into the three dots yeah And then it's options. And right here, you guys, make the collaborate. Sure collaborate so that others can add photos and videos. I don't want anybody adding photos and videos to my um, to this here, to my oh. template. So I had to turn this off. Now but if you're I, gonna have like a master one with your team, which I think that I'm gonna do, yeah. I'll leave that open. Yeah, yeah. So you can um, you know, you can do that as well. Now let's say, okay, now Wendy's party's going and now I want to start Susie's party. What I'm just going to do is I can go, I've got to start a new album. So I'm going to go, let me come over here. Where is it? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go into albums and I'm going to go albums and I'm going to start a new album now. And the new album is going to be called Susie's. And then I can pull all of the photos from Wendy's into here and just change out Wendy's photo to Susie's photo, whatever, whatever, whatever. So Holly, can you grab them all at once? Um, that's what yeah. Shelly did. She grabbed, she went into the folder. So Shelly took all of like, let's say Wendy's photos from her party and she put them in a folder on her desktop. And then um, when the photo was in her desktop, oh my gosh, she spells, um, she can um, do it from here too. Yeah. So, so when you're in the actual, I was gonna say you can you can right click right on the album in Google. Just yeah. right click and say create a copy or make a copy or whatever, and then you can just give it a new name. Yeah. Mm. And then just swap out the couple of pictures you need to. I don't. So you I make a new album work. because a new album then would have a different. Um, when we go here and we go options, and oh, I gotta get, I gotta edit that. Okay, here, this one's always going to be the link for Wendy. So I've got to change the album because otherwise, if I just go and take Wendy's photo out and put Susie's and send this, it's going to come back the same. So I've got to start a new album, but you've got all your photos saved and then you're going to get a different link. Huh. Yeah, each party. So one thing too is people can comment on this. I mean, this is something. You know, as you can see, there's activity on the right here. That's like, where this mark came in. Click yeah. one open, um, Paula, just click on a picture. So you can see on the lower right-hand corner, there's like a little bubble that says say something. So people can interact on this. I mean, this would be a whole new level too of, you know, playing games and that kind of stuff. But for now, we're just kind of keeping her keeping it on the down low and you will get notifications when people comment also if you turn the notifications on so here this right. would say love this tip you know and this isn't going to go you guys this is not going to go 
on everybody's phone. It's being blinking because there's a notification. Remember, everybody got the text sent separate to them by the hostess. Hey, Paula, just to let you know, I just got a text with you when you um, when you put that little tip. You know, I like this tip. Oh yeah. I just got that on there, so that's cool. Yeah. So you did, but maybe everybody else did that looked at this, which then we'd want to make sure, Shelly, that we've got something turned off that everybody doesn't get notification. You can turn off notifications, yes. Yeah. Kim, did you get that? Because you have I didn't. I can turn no. it off or you turn it off inside. Um, comments and likes right there. Let others respond. Oh, I guess that's responding. No, um, I didn't get one. I did. You yeah, I didn't either. Nancy Joe did, probably Lynette. I don't know if she's on Susan. For some, these are the members already in here for some reason. I'm not sure. You know what? You guys, we just put a template together for you and we are no, getting- it's, it's awesome. No, I think that's, yeah. you know, this is well, good. I just, I wanted to let you know. Only, yeah, we only started this yesterday and we have put together this <laughs> whole thing. So it's like, I don't know, don't ask me. <laughs> I have a question, probably for Shelly. So Shelly, you had said you were gonna have a master party or master template yep. that, so you would have that collaborate on mm -hmm. and everybody could just dump their photos in and then what? Then uh, you can go here. I'm going to screen share quick. Okay. Um, here we go. Wait, did I stop sharing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So one little thing I wanted to show you too, that Paula was kind of, when you hover over something, I'm just going to click this little, can you guys see where my mouse is on the first oh, one? Yeah. There's a little check mark in the corner. Mm -hmm. And then you can go to wherever you want. And I'm just gonna go here. I push shift and then I'm gonna click on that. And then this little little sideways V here, it says share up here at the top. Yep. Then um, oh wait, not share, hold on, sorry. Plus, and you say share the album. Share it to an album. And then oh, you can either say a new album or one you already created. I'll say a new album. And then there it goes, right in there. Again, it doesn't go in order. What do you do? Yeah. Spend a few extra minutes just reorganizing them. So, so did that grab all of them or just the ones you had checked? Just the ones I highlighted. Okay. And you click can go to the very end again and click shift. Yeah. Um, with your check mark. And this is in the, the notes too. It's in the other additional other tips that I put in. Because yeah. maybe not everybody's going to be techy enough to know how to do that or even want to. Um, maybe everybody's going to be finding it um, on, their, on their desktop. Um, another thing I wanted to show you too is when you go into an album, um, you can say download all. And those would download whatever's in that album to your laptop or your desktop, whatever. So you can get them all downloaded. Um, so you always have them. You know, it's just a preference. We're just showing you a couple of different ways that you could put things into albums and keep track of your stuff. Everybody's different. Everybody does it different. But I just kind of want to show you um, a couple of different ways to do that too. So. so if you have that master and everybody's dumping pictures in there, then they could literally recreate from the master any album they yes. want, right? Yes. To send to exactly. somebody. Is that the purpose? Yeah. yeah, that's it. And I think I'll do that for my team. And you guys are more than welcome to any I think of them. That's really awesome. <laughs> yeah. That, nobody's going to get thrown in Google jail. So that's a really nice thing. <laughs> God, let's hope not. <laughs> Shelly, you also, um, uh, when I go and put new things in mine, you and Becky could go all day long and see that I was editing and changing up yeah. my, because I had shared it with you. Right. So, um, but you know what? I didn't share my thing. You guys that got the link on Facebook today or whatever, yours, I just put the post out there. You're not seeing that I changed stuff up because I didn't share, the, share it with you. I just gave you a link. So that's totally different. So if you make, you know how some people make post my party or since share, they make a, just a general template for all the new consultants. You could make just a general template like this 
um, for your team and, um, you know, change it up as you want to help them. But they're not, you guys can't see that because we didn't share it with you. So you can see on the left hand side here, and this is just in the Google Photos when you're on the main screen, there's a sharing area. And this is what you've shared with others and what others have shared with you. So then you can go in and this one says new activity. So they must have made a comment or put a new photo in, but you're not getting notifications for each one of those. It's kind of nice. You can just go in and check and see um, what maybe if there's a new post about the April specials or something, someone may have put it in there. So Shelly, where, uh, where do you turn off notifications? Yeah. You know, I wonder if that might be on your phone's end. Okay. Um, I'm not sure on that. I don't have, do you have an iPhone? I do. Yeah. Who else got the notifications? I did. You well, don't have an iPhone. And I don't have an iPhone. Nancy, Joel, it was I have an iPhone, phone. but I didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't either. So that's something we can look into because, yeah. you know, I think that would irritate people if, you know, you're getting a hundred emails. We want to kind of nip that in the bud. Yeah. Now, Paula, you had shared it with me this afternoon and, and then I said oh you should do the one with the phone and your phone number yeah and when I just looked at it it's updated okay mm -hmm. so I I have the updated one is even though that wasn't there this afternoon but it is there now is that nice as long as you have the link you're going to get whatever is the oh, I didn't realize that Shelly I didn't guess I guess I thought uh when I put the link out whatever's present at the time I do the link is what they're going to see that they didn't see that I edited after that. They can see whatever you edit. It's a live link. Just think of it that way. So isn't that sort of like Evernote where the master of it, if they change anything, it changes everybody's Evernote that right. they shared with that? Right. Okay. Shelly, can you unshare your screen? Yep. So that is the, re that I'm done recording that now. So if you want something that you need to reach out to your director, like, like I would send it to Michelle Klein and anybody in the gem team could get stuff from her. Um, it's still recording Paula. I know, but I'm, I'm saying this so it's oh. in the recording. Okay. Um, and then like, if you're miscellaneous people like Kimberly, um, you know, you can get it from me. Anybody in my org, I'll give it, you know, Nancy Joel, that'll be separate too. I just want to put that in here so you're all not like, where are we getting this? And can you share it with me? Because you guys, you know what? I'm not sure, but Shelly, let's address that. They all have the link. They all could see it. Is there a way for them to take that now and put it in their Google or in their Google Photos, what they got on email? I mean, I put it in the um, Brockner Org today. They opened mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like they can open it up and I showed you how to download all. Hey, you guys, you know what? Go on your computer, go in the Brockner org where you were, click on that. You're going to see the template. And I think you can download all of those right into your Google photos. Okay. I'm going to stop recording. Thank you.